So what is VSLAM and what is it used for? VSLAM stands for Visual Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. It's a bit of a mouthful. And VSLAM is used in places where we don't have good GPS reception. So that could be in the middle of cities with tall buildings or in a backyard covered in trees. The idea behind VSLAM is that you can use a camera and other sensors like an IMU to build a map of your environment as you're navigating through it and based off that map be able to localize where you're at in that environment. VSLAM uses the camera to identify key points and as the vehicle travels around in the environment it matches where it thinks it has gone based on things like how much the wheels have turned and how much inertia it's felt in each direction and it matches that where the key points are relative to where it's seen them previously. So it tries to triangulate where it is in relation to the key points that it's seen before and uh, figure out where we are based on that. A lot of people want to know what the advantages are with VSLAM and the big thing that comes from VSLAM is the ability to recognize where you have been after traveling for some time and you come back to a location. So that's often referred to as loop closure. And the idea behind that is you, you start in one place and you can see some key features visually. So you travel around and then by the time you get back to that spot where you noted that key feature, the algorithm is able to recognize that you're in a same or a similar location. One of the biggest problems that GPS denied navigation has is drift over time. So if you travel over large distances, eventually a small error will accumulate larger and larger. And so to reduce that error and to reduce that drift, VSLAM allows us to essentially reset when we recognize something that we've already seen. So what's the need for visual SLAM? In ground robotics, one big potential area is mining where you don't have the advantage of GPS or sometimes you have vehicles that are going in and out of mines. So sometimes they have a, a global system that they can reference like GPS, sometimes they don't. VSLAM allows those vehicles to go underground or in a cave and localize within that region with the help of the global information that they had before they went in the cave. So in a groundkeeping situation, like say mowing a lawn, uh, a lot of backyards have a lot of tree coverage, which is bad for GPS. So for some of the yard, you're able to get an accurate location based on GPS, and then you use that position to leverage that accuracy later when you're driving, say, under a tree or under a gazebo or something like that. So you'll travel some time in, with, with less global certainty, but SLAM allows you to reconnect that global data in places where you don't have it. If you want to learn more about Visual SLAM or anything else that we've talked about, please just click the link below and we'll get in touch with you.